Now let's suppose that we've got uh, this expression here and we want to simplify it. Now the De Morgan uh, equivalent can be a handy thing to just try out uh, for simplification purposes. Um, if you, it, it's it's always a good starting point because what it does is it kind of changes things into a completely different problem. You know, ors change to ands and ands change to ors. And, uh, and it can kind of help you um, visualize the problem in a different way. And it, and it kind of provides you two paths to start down for simplification. So that's why usually I'll always start by just taking the De Morgan, uh, De Morgan equivalent and seeing if that's simpler. So remember for the De Morgan equivalent, we're going to prime it and then we're going to prime it again. So um, this first prime, right, is just the De Morgan's complement. So we're going to have uh, an x, we're going to have a y, we're going to have an x, and we're going to have a y not, right, we're flipping the sign, and then we're going to have a z not. Now we need to put our signs in here, so this is an and, this is an or, this is an and, and this becomes an and. So um, we need to make sure that we do this whole and first, right? So this and changes to an or. So we need to make sure that we do this whole part first. So we put parentheses around it to maintain our precedence. And, um, and so that's it, right? but we need to make sure we complete our De Morgan equivalent by putting our final prime on there. And remember that we don't, uh, remember that we don't distribute this prime, uh, we don't distribute this prime because otherwise we'd undo all of our work. But we're, our main objective is to simplify. So in order to simplify, um, we, we now need to look at our uh, our theorems and see if we can apply any of them. And as it turns out, um, one of the good things to look for is theorem 10. That's kind of a classic one that can be in these problems. And here we've got x and y ORed with x and y not. And what this simplifies down to is just x. Right, simplifies down to x. So that's this whole term right here, simplifies down to x. And then we've got z prime and that whole thing primed now. Um, and then uh, kind of for our last step is if you want, we can take this and we can distribute it. It's not really gonna actually change that much, um, but anyway, it's gonna be equivalent if we say uh, x prime or z. So I guess this form might be a little bit simpler because here we've got an and, a not, and a not, which is three gates, and here we've got a not and an or, which is two. So that's just kind of how to use De Morgan's uh, equivalent to simplify. And I'm pretty sure this here is also a theorem that you could have directly recognized as well. Um, but sometimes uh, you might not remember all of them, and um, it's always just kind of helpful to uh, apply the De Morgan equivalent just to see what you can end up with.